confinement rectangle as zero, what would happen is that as soon as I click on this, my knob would move to coordinate zero on my stage. I don't want that happening. So I'd like it to start from the same place as where my knob is originally positioned as from the left as from the top to move on a straight line and across a distance that is the same as my underlying bar's height minus the knob's height. Okay, having done that, now we're going to learn something new here again. I'm going to go back to my knob underscore mc by using ebt.target. Now I'm going to use a method called start drag. Now let's go back to our manual. And since knob underscore mc is a movie clip, we're going to go for, okay, click on the movie clip. And we're going to look at its methods right down here. Uh, maybe start drag. Is, ah, it's here. Start drag. What does it do? Let's the user drag the specified sprite. So basically, what it does is it lets you lets you drag a movie clip. It needs two parameters. One is that it needs something called the lock center. I'm going to show you what that means in a second. And then it needs the, a, a, a sort of reference to what amount of space it has to travel within. So we're going to define the rectangle or the one that we've already defined. We're going to connect it to this calculation here. So make sure that our knob moves within this confined rectangle here. We set that as a second parameter. So basically I say that I don't want to lock its center and I'd like it to move within this rectangle which I've just declared in my previous step. Now this false, what does it do? If I were to set it to true, what would happen? When I run this clip now, when I click on my knob, you see what it does it is that it centers the top point of that clip as where my mouse